everyone and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer Kickstarter board game review. I'm Callie and today I'm sharing Arch Ravels, a game for two to four players. Takes about 30 to 45 minutes to play ages eight and up from XYZ Game Labs. It's a game of resource management and order fulfillment where you'll be collecting yarn, crafting items, and fulfilling projects in order to gain the most points and beat out your rivals to be the craftiest player. Here we have all the components that you get with Arch Ravels. I've set up the game a little bit for a two-player game. We have a couple of the two the player boards out here. You can see they have some actions on the board that are all a little bit different as well as some tiles on top of here for the different items you'll be crafting and the yarn tokens that you'll need for that You've got these cool wooden bowls and some yarn tokens to start for each player up here we have the yarn bazaar which is a nice deck of a lot of cards with different colors and different combination and numbers of yarn that you'll be collecting as you go shopping. In the deck, there'll also be some special event cards that will mix up the game a little bit as you're playing, as well as the special request cards. You can see some of them here, like the unicorn, the robot, um, lots of different special requests that you will have to be picking up as you go through the game as well of course the different yarn tokens of different colors and the tokens here of the different items you'll be crafting and then last but not least there's the project list which this is also acts as a timer for the game you can turn in your item tokens to complete projects to get even more points in the game so on your turn you can take your action token and place it on one of the four actions here. You can either shop for yarn, you can craft, you can do a combination of craft shopping and crafting, or you can exchange yarn. So if I choose to go shopping, see I have a number three there, which is gonna be different on the different player. Some of them will be different on the different player boards. And I'll be able to choose three cards up here, looking at what I might need. I'm gonna pick two yellow, two blue, and then this one looks good because it's got a lot of uh, three different colors here. So I'll pick up my two yellow, two blue, and a blue, purple, and green and add them to my yarn bowl. I got a lot of great yarn that turn. Uh, and then if I could craft this turn, I would have enough you see three of the same color yellow yarn here to create a bear as well as enough to create a mitten or maybe even yeah enough to create a scarf so next turn i'll be able to move my token and take a different action uh crafting as many items as i can based on the number there and of course you can't choose the same action twice in a row the, the token will help you remember that now, before it's the next player's turn, I'm going to refill the bazaar here. And I'm looking for hopefully getting my special item here. I'm looking for a unicorn special request. We'll see some different things that happen that come out. So instead of a uh, yarn, this is a, an action card. I'll choose a player they can't craft on their next turn. That limits their action points. And then this will be discarded, so we won't put anything back here as well as here's a special item. I can take this or give it to the other player. If I want to craft this, it'll give me extra uh, special bonus points there. That's a good one to take. And then um, this is another item card that will come out. All players craft one item and we'll do that all right away. To craft an item, it's going to turn in the number of tokens of the item that you want to craft and take a corresponding token of that item place it right next to you on the back of these items they have their point value but you can also later turn them in for special projects list at the end of your turn provided you have enough of the items to fulfill the project that will net you even more points 
for we did three cards out, out here so for the next player there's less here but this player will also get a chance to craft an item they could do the scarf green yellow uh, red as well to get the scarf and just players continue taking turns shopping for items crafting items choosing to this one has a special ability here to take three yarn of any color instead of having to use the bazaar and crafting one item and this action will let you trade in tokens or yarn tokens of one color for the same number of yarn tokens of another color when the projects are uh, assembled turn in those item tokens at the end of your turn to take the project and reveal another project when there's only two projects left out and the number will be depend on the number of players playing the game that will be when the game ends and everyone tallies up their points player with the highest points of completed projects items and if you turned in your items to reveal the easier way to make that item and upgrade, you'll also get points for that, as well as bonus points if you manage to complete your special request projects. This player has the unicorn, uh, and Ted over here has the rob robot that he wants to complete. A couple of things to make sure you get right when you're refreshing the yarn bazaar. When you're revealing new yarn cards to the table and you get those special request cards, you're going to be able to choose if they come to you or another player. In addition, that spot on the bazaar will be blank and you won't put another card there. The same thing for events. Those will go to the discard and there'll be a blank spot. On the next player's turn, they can use that spot to choose one yarn of any color if the rest of the cards on there they don't like and they have a shopping action. On their turn as well, they'll be continue refilling up to six spaces unless of course they get another event card or, or a special request. Okay, on to my review. What did I think of our travels? Overall, it's a really colorful, Fun puzzle game that is pretty engaging and has a really unique theme. I've never seen any kind of crafting or uh, knitting or yarn related game before so that's exciting and it seems like the theme could open up the game to a lot of new players. As well the resource management, easy action turns and sort of puzzle like building of managing resources and creating pro and crafting projects really goes a long way to making this a sort of a gateway game to get new gamers who maybe are attracted to the theme interested in the game. The rules are pretty well laid out and easy to understand but there's enough complexity in there to make a kind of thinky puzzle strategy in there as well. There's not a whole lot of player interaction except for when you're choosing the yarn from the yarn bazaar if you know someone is going after a particular color for a particular project and of course competing for those project lists. One thing about the project list it is the sort of time limit to the game so you can make the game last longer or shorter by choosing when you're going to go after those projects. In addition because the number of them depends on the number of players you're going to have a lot shorter game for a two-player game versus a four player game. Another thing to notice about the two player game especially is you're not going to get through as much of the yarn deck as in a four player game. So you may not get to those special request items which was really disappointing when we played the two player version of the game not to be able to make those special requests which actually make the game more fun, add more variety to the items that you're crafting, and of course more points, right? <laughs> but the components themselves are really great. Uh, it's important to know even this is a prototype version, so the components may be different in the final Kickstarter version, but the wooden bowls are really cool. The wooden, the wooden yarn pieces even more so because of the 
they're very bright and colorful. They got the right mix of colors, I think. It's really fun to collect them and see them in your bowl. However, for those younger players, especially, and maybe people who are more visual, the bowls can get a little cumbersome when you're trying to figure out what all the different items you can craft especially if you have the crafter specialty as your player special ability and you can craft four items in one turn you want to be able to see those items so younger players may want to just use the bowl for collecting the yarn and then actually just put them on their board to see the different combinations of things they can create with those yarn uh, overall, the game is a lot of fun and I definitely recommend it for uh, families, for people who want to and get other, maybe your friend crafters, into the board gaming community. This would be a great way to do that and the game will be coming out on Kickstarter. Thank you guys for watching my overview and review of our travels coming to Kickstarter. And I hope you check out the Kickstarter link below and see how, if you like the game or not. And as always, uh, like this video, subscribe to Unfiltered Gamer. You can also go to our website, unfilteredgamer.com for lots of giveaways, blog posts, and check out our Facebook page every Wednesday night, 7.30 PST for our live play, where we talk about games, play games, and give away games on the stream. It's a lot of fun. I hope you'll join Callie's crew. That's my group. Root for me to win, always. And uh, you can, of course, also check out some other awesome review and content creator channels. Love supporting other diverse perspectives in the board game community. Let's build the board game community. Check out Show Me How to Win by my friend Jackie and Before You Play by my friend Monique. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, we look forward to seeing you guys next time.